about why you came up with these three points and, and, and what brings you to these three ideas? Um, well, those are just, you know, three points of many. I highlighted them because they both connect to this, this theme, which is how, mainstream, how extremism is mainstreamed in America. Um, you know, in terms of the first point and the, the rise of militia groups and hate groups, you know, there's been this rise going on since 2008, basically since Obama won the presidency. And what we're seeing now is a much more um, open and overt support of a presidential candidate by these kind of groups, which Trump himself has been reluctant to condemn. Um, you know, he's gone back and forth on people like David Duke, um, you know, saying that he disavows him and sort of hinting that it's okay. He's had his campaign staff tweeting out anti-Semitic memes. All these things that were once kind of, you know, dog whistles sound more like the tune of a Pied Piper leading millions of Americans astray. Um, in terms of the second point, the economic discontent, right. uh, this is real. You know, this is a genuine problem. I, I think it's been underestimated all along, you know, especially where I am right now in St. Louis. Right. I definitely think the problems of regions like this are not fully uh, depicted or described, and he's, tacked, he's tapped into that pain. But unfortunately, what he's done is he's linked it to a particular conception of who has that pain, which is a white male kind of post-industrial worker. Trump doesn't actually understand what these people do. When he ran campaign ads, you know, he hired a Dutch model to pretend that he was a minor. Um, you know, he's not somebody who actually, you know, feels the pain of the working man, but unfortunately he's been able to convince a lot of people he is. And how is he able to do this? Well, a lot of that had to do with the role of the media, um, which as I'm sure you know, has been in financial trouble for the last 15 years. There they're looking for ratings, they're looking for clicks, they're looking for cash. And a candidate like Trump is a godsend. You know, he'll call into every show, he'll say all kinds of inflammatory right. statements, and he attracts, um, you know, big crowds. And so I see why the media was, you know, airing his rallies, you know, nonstop, was giving him more coverage than any other candidate. But it's had real repercussions for real people. It's increased attacks, physical attacks, on American citizens. And so, you know, I think at this point, um, you know, sometimes when I talk to members, fellow members of the media, media about this, they get very defensive. Um, but I think this is a time for, for everybody to be reflective about what's happened and, and do our best to you know stop what is a very harmful and damaging trend for our country. Sarah Kinsey, you're in St. Louis uh, re reflecting on your article on foreign policy. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, thank you.